Remember the tongue is such if you do not occupy it with something that is beneficial, it may occupy you with something that is harmful. This is why it's important for you and I to think of remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, it's easy for me to say, let's remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, engage in a lot of dhikr. Sometimes when we are free, we don't think about it. Sometimes when we are seated doing nothing, lying in the bed, like I gave you the example, or sometimes just sitting and we walk into the house of Allah and we're looking, waiting for the time of salah. But my brother, spend a moment, move your lips a little bit, shake that meaning, move the tongue a little bit, subhanallah. And inshallah, you will be able to achieve a lot of great reward. Imagine, I share with you a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which a lot of us perhaps would know of by heart, where the Prophet sallallahu says, there are two statements which are very light on the tongue. They don't take much for you to say. Well, I would like to say you need to remember to say them and you need to make the effort to say them. Yes, they are light, but you need to remember without remembering what's the point of us every time we think of, you know, this hadith and we say, wow, these, this is a good hadith, you know, something worth practicing upon. But when it comes to our time that is free, we forget about practicing upon it. So he says, Two statements, very light words that are light on the tongue. ala lisan. Yet, fil mizan. They are very heavy on the scales of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, the mizan being spoken about, something on the day of judgment that will be put up. Allah speaks of how he will place the scales of justice on the day of judgment and no soul shall be oppressed. So those scales, you want a heavy good deed? Well, you just need to move your tongue a little bit with the conviction of the heart. Obviously, the intention needs to be there and you need to utter some simple words. The Prophet ﷺ says these two words are very light upon the tongue, yet they are very, very heavy on the scale. Habibatani ila rahman on top of that, they are so loved by the most merciful. Imagine he did not just say Habibatani ilallah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was right to say that. But he is drawing our attention to the fact that Allah's mercy is beckoned by the fact that you remember him and you constantly praise him. Imagine if someone were to praise you whole day and night, what would happen? And they asked you for something small worth one real at the end of the day or they came to your house, you'd honor them. Imagine when we return to the house of Allah or when we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we've been praising him, we've been saying, we've been asking for forgiveness and doing so much with our tongues, expressing our weakness and asking Allah to have mercy on us. What do you think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do? When the Prophet sallallahu says these two words are so light, imagine if we were to engage in much, much more than that. Light on the tongue, heavy on the scale and loved by the most merciful, the one who owns mercy. The one who has mercy on entire creation, the owner of absolutely everything, subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are these two words? Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi, subhanallahi al -azim. Allahu Akbar. The greatness of Allah is being declared. The praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being declared. And these words are so heavy. The question I have, and it's something that I am affected by as well. When we are sitting with our free time, Sometimes we're just looking in the air, thinking. Sometimes we're doing absolutely nothing. Use those moments constructively. That is my message today. Use your moments constructively and make sure that you move your tongue a little bit. It doesn't require much effort. Move your tongue. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Think for a moment what you are saying. You will feel so good. The time of Salah comes, you will want to get up and move forward because your time has been used praising the one who has asked you to read Salah. Subhanallah. It's something, it's a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.